What's going on guys, I'm back with some Evans Okacha Madden 13 Connected Careers mode and in the last episode of this series uh, we kind of predicted the future a little bit. Now every game that we've won with the Evans Okacha series ended up being an actual victory for the Cowboys and every game that we lost ended up being an actual loss. But in the last episode I did, we lost to the Chicago Bears, Romo threw one touchdown five interceptions just like he did just hours later in that Monday night game and so it's clear that this game predicts the future and so I'm looking at this game predicting the actual outcome for this week's Cowboys versus Ravens game so we'll see how that goes but nonetheless we're trying to bounce back after that horrific loss at home to the Bears on Monday night football and we're on the road in Baltimore and on third and 19 Okacha makes a catch underneath I ran that route a little bit longer so we can make it a shorter field goal attempt and the kick was good and so three nothing Cowboys right now. I'm trying to get underneath the ball with Okacha and he falls down, picks it up, gets up and runs and gets about four or five yards on the return. But we ended up going three and out in that drive and so we'll go forward a little bit later and Okacha takes a handoff out of the shotgun for a few yards as the game is now tied up at three apiece. And on second down, Romo quick drop back, fires it to Des Bryant over the middle who fumbles the football. It's picked up by Ed Reed and once again a cowboy miscue has the Ravens with the football inside of Dallas territory. They score a touchdown and we have the ball late Later, Okacha not too much room to run there, two yards on the carry. And on third down, Okacha comes off for the empty backfield play. Tony Romo drops back, heaves it deep over the middle to Ogletree, and picked off by Jimmy Smith, somehow snagging it before it hits the ground. It's Baltimore football, but they would not score on that possession. We get the football back, Okacha outside on the pitch, now room to run in front of him. He jumps up and is smacked for a first down anyway. And at the 30-yard line now, Romo back to throw, and great protection, dumps it off left side, Des Bryant goes up, holds on to the football, nine and a half yard gain handoff Okacha gets the first down and to the 44 yard line they go with just under two minutes to go all three timeouts this is a great opportunity but on second and five Okacha goes backwards loses a yard on the play then Romo third and six over the middle throws it to the future Hall of Famer Ray Lewis and he's going to be tackled on top of the Baltimore logo and the Ravens would score a touchdown, and we're going to see what we can do in just about 30 seconds now. Okacha takes a handoff up the middle for a good gain on first down. And then on the new set of downs, Romo back to throw, but he's going to be sacked quickly, and we would go to the halftime, 17-3. to Very, very unimpressive first half with three turnovers. And then we start the second half off with Des Bryant making it four turnovers in the end of round. Can we get rid of half of these players in this team? Can we start from scratch, Jerry, please? Okacha is your star of the future, and we got all these falling stars stars holding them back. You can see him getting the first down here to the Baltimore 30 yard line, but we're down 24 to 3 now thanks to all these turnovers. Romo over the middle, that's Jason Witten for the first down to the 10 yard line now, setting up second down and 12 a play later, and Romo out of the backfield, Okacha, and he's tackled into the end zone, touchdown Cowboys cutting into this Ravens lead. They would end up going for a field goal later in the third quarter, making it 27 to 10. It's once again a three score ball game. But Dallas's offense needs to play consistent, but not this type of consistent. Paul Kruger comes in and sacks Tony Romo. Then third down and 16, Romo slant route, Des Bryant. He somehow evades the defensive back and is going to take off past Ray Lewis and past the rest of this defense, going 86 yards to the house. The Ravens give up a huge play to the Cowboys. On third and 16 with your opponent inside their own 20-yard line, and now we're only down by 10, and Sam Cook is going to punt it away for Evans Okacha, who's trying to get underneath it, and he couldn't locate it or something went wrong there, and he ends up muffing the punt, and the Ravens recover and score a touchdown. So I guess everybody's going to make mistakes today. But Romo wants to get us back in this game going long. John Phillips makes a diving catch. What a play. That definitely helps. Now we're 17 yards from a touchdown and 10 yards to go. Third and three. Lawrence Vickers out of the backfield makes the catch. Okacha wanted the block for him and couldn't get in front of the defenders. And so second down and goal. Romo looking for Okacha out of the backfield. But he's tackled by Ladarius Webb at the two. Bringing up third down and goal. Now we're going to throw it three tight ends. Romo looking for Okacha. Throws it behind him. Good coverage by Webb. And we end up kicking a field goal. And we have the ball with a 14 point deficit now. Miles Austin. And well, I guess everybody, and I mean everybody, wants to make a mistake today. 
Romo, Dez, Austin, Okacha. That's your top four offensive playmakers if you don't count Jason Witten. He's been flawless today at least. And so 41 to 20. It's practically garbage time right now. And Ed Reed, salt in the wound. You'd have to do that to us. A future Hall of Famer snagging one. I know this is usually a basketball term, but the Dallas Cowboys just got posterized by Ed Reed. It just happened. That, that just happened with Ed Reed right there. And so apparently we want to keep going down the field though and throwing the football. We're making Dez Bryant look like he had a great game today with 120 plus yards. And now heaving it deep to Miles Austin, just overthrown though. We're down by 21, a little over two minutes to go. We're just getting yards basically. And Okacha makes a catch on fourth down, keeping this drive alive as Ray Lewis gets hurt there. First down and 10 for Tony Romo. Going end zone, Dez Bryant, and he's going to show up when it's a 21 point deficit. But uh, he fumbled twice earlier and he made some mistakes, so uh, we're not going to forgive him for two touchdowns anyway. And then Okacha later runs through a defender on this deep 50 plus yard catch, and that would be the last play of the day for Okacha. And we would add another touchdown actually, making the score look close, although this was pretty much a domination. We lost by seven, but uh, morally we lost by a lot more than seven points. Once again, turnovers fail us in this game. Romo had, I believe, two or three interceptions. Des Bryant had a couple fumbles. Miles Austin had a fumble. Evans Okacha muffed a punt. And uh, you don't expect to win when you make that many turnovers. What is that, like six or seven turnovers we had in this game? Come on, man. You can't win with seven turnovers. And so next up, we have the Carolina Panthers. Once again, we're on the road. We have to step it up. But until then, guys, here are a couple more videos for you guys to check out. On the left side there, I have some all-pro football 2K8. Really good episode there with the Grand Rapids Goats. It was a pretty good game. And then on the right side, I have the UTSA Dynasty Season 2 Week 5 against Louisiana Lafayette. And that was a really good episode, so check out those videos, guys, and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and uh, just check out all my upcoming content, guys, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.